Hi everyone, this is Dale from Chapel Town Academy, the head teacher. This is really just a, a brief video to welcome you to Chapel Town. Should you choose to enrol with us in, in, um, in August, uh, we're really hoping that you do. Uh, we were supposed to have our induction day tomorrow, but unfortunately we've had to postpone, but we will do that again in September when you come to us on the Thursday, the 2nd of September. So really this is just to give you an overview about where we're at and what Chapel Town is really about, just in case you're not really sure if you've not been before. We have academic rigour because we do mainly A-levels, but we've also got BTEC subjects this year in health and social engineering, which we're really pleased about and really excited about those running. We have a very strong pastoral network system to help support you from your transition from GCSEs to A-level, which goes from a form tutor to uh, pastoral support from Jess Humphreys for your pastoral leaders as well, which are progress leaders, and also Helen, my deputy head, is part of the wellbeing team as well. So there's a lot of uh, guidance and support given you to you to help you over the next few coming weeks, months uh, and years as part of your A-levels as well, because we really do believe in the, the whole package of students and the only way that you can acad academically succeed is by looking after you in many, many ways. Lots of soft skills coming your way as well, which is done through mainly through Doug Neal, who just preparing for the future lectures. Um, and that is to get you ready for life in general, anything from finance to how you deal with, with difficult situations in your life as well. And we're really hoping to relaunch our extracurricular activities in September, including trips and even going abroad and having some residentials as well. So all that to come. This is just a, really to give you an idea about our mission, vision and values to let you know about the personalization that we have at Chapel Town Academy. It really is about making sure that you as a student are well looked after to be able to academically succeed in what is really our small family community. We're really all about looking after each other within that community and getting to know each other as soon as possible. Uh, and we talk about that an awful lot. And because we're small, less than 250 students, we are able to get to know you really, really quickly uh, and make sure that things are very much personalised towards you as well. Just to remind you about the subjects that we've got running this year, in case you're thinking about changing your mind, um, because it may well be that you've, you've tried some of them out on the tasters and as long as they fit into our blocking system, that should be fine. So again, to add the BTEC engineering is in there with health and social. Um, we've also got in there all the subjects that we've run before. There's lots of them in terms of the humanities, but also the sciences as well. Uh, but again, if you're, if you're interested in changing some of those, you can do that on enrolment day. And in fact, you can do that in September as well. If you're not really convinced you pick the right subjects, there is time for you to change. And sometimes people pick four just in case they're not sure if they pick the right ones. But there is plenty of opportunities to, to have a think about that and change if you need to do so. Making your transition to Chapel Town from being um, a student is in year 11 can be quite challenging, particularly post-COVID, but really is it's all about giving you the support that you need through your form tutor for the progress leaders and as also, like I said, through Jess, who is the pastoral support person. But remember that when you come into A-levels and VTEX at level three, it really is a different kettle of fish compared to what you did at GCSE. And there's an awful lot more of uh, resilience and independent work is going to be needed and potentially communication with your parents to help you get through the next two years. But just to reassure you, we're there to support you. It's really big on our hit list is to make sure that we give you support over the next two years uh, after what has been a very difficult 18 months, two years. OK. So what do you need to really do? Well, think about the fact that you're going to be doing some um, academic A levels or level three BTECs and that you may want to do some prep before and over the summer. There are things posted on our website to help you out with those things. And I know that a lot of the staff have already posted those or will be posting those to you to make sure that you can do some work over the summer. We will do some diagnostic work with you in the first two weeks in September to make sure that you're all at the same level before we start doing the, the AS. Uh, work so you just don't go straight into it there's chance for you to get some support in the first two weeks um, on that road to success but yeah do have a look at things over the summer and that will really help you with all of that again big emphasis on our pastoral support system which is outstanding I have to say and an awful lot of time and effort has been putting into getting that right uh, and please do talk to people when you first come in whether they be form tutors or whether it be something you need from special educational needs from Helen, who is a person that deals with that or disabilities and so on. But make sure you give us a shout, you know, do let us know if something's worrying you or you're bothered, because we're really into supporting you in a pastoral way to help you 
uh, cope. And if you've got financial things that you may need some support with, we call it bursary, and we may need to be help you with things like um, your bus fare or your free school meals and things like that. And you can apply for that when you enroll with us on the 12th of August as well. And then the bits that come later on is related to something to do with UCAS and applications that go with UCAS. Some of you may be already familiar with that, but we've got a coordinator who works on that called Doug, and he will help you very early doors for being able to think about applying for UCAS, particularly if you're an early entry person who's thinking about going to do medicine or going for some of the competitive universities programs. He'll start, work, start working on that with you very early doors and also as part of preparing for the future program, he will be working on with, you, with that as well. Okay, so there's plenty of things to come in terms of support for UCAS applications and competitive universities as well. So that's really just a flavour of the kind of things that we need to support you with. So lots more things on the website, lots more things to come as part of the replacement online induction day uh, that we're doing for you. GCC results day, I'm sure you'll be aware, has moved to 12th of August this year. As soon as you get those results, we are then open for enrolment from 9 o'clock up until about 1pm. If you can't make it, then please do let us know by contacting Jess Humphreys, who you'll have been in touch with through the applications process. And we can then arrange a different date, maybe the day after, if you need it, so that we can then enrol you on that day as well. All you really need to bring with you at that point is your results certificate and some form of identification. But do think about that on the results day on the 12th of August and think about the grades that you need to get to get in. And if you've not quite met those grades, do come and see us anyway, because we probably can help out and provide you with, if not exactly the same courses, then something very similar or give you a bit of support that goes towards all of that. And then finally, once you've enrolled, it's then time for you to do a bit of work and have some fun and entertainment over the summer holidays. And Thursday, the 2nd of September is the first day that we'll then see you for that replacement induction day, followed by the Friday before getting on with uh, some of the diagnostics on the, uh, the Monday that comes after all of that. So things for you to think about there. Um, please do give us a call or email us if you're not really sure about some of these things that we're talking about and certainly let us know about any support and help you need in a pastoral way because we'll be able to do that for you. Okay, take care. I hope I really see you soon and many apologies about not being able to give you tomorrow's experience. Bye for now. <laughs>